Hello, hello, hello. It's Brandy Janae here. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel today. In today's video, I have been asked to do a review of this planner from, I'm not sure if it's Jubtick or Jubtick on Amazon, but make sure you check the link down below so that you can get more information about this particular planner and other planners from this company. So if you're interested in seeing this review, please be sure to stay tuned. All right, great. Thanks again for coming back. I'd like to welcome you if you are new and welcome you back if you're returning. I truly, truly appreciate your support. Like I said, I'm going to be doing a planner review for this particular budget planner that was sent to me. Someone reached out to me on email and asked if I would do a review for their planner and I was happy to do so. I really enjoy doing reviews. So if you are interested in me doing a review for any of your products, feel free to reach out to me and we could work something out. So anyway, this planner, like I said, is from Amazon and the company is either Jubtick or Jubtick. I'm not really sure how to pronounce it because we were emailing and not talking to each other. So I'm not sure, but it is an undated monthly budget planner and it is in this beautiful rose gold. Um, I want to say like hard back cover, I guess, although it does have a little bend to it, but it's really like a typical um i call it bullet journal i'm not really sure what these actual books are called notebooks i don't know um but it's like gives me bullet journal vibes it is fairly thin so i'm not sure as far as like stickers if you use stickers how that would work or if this is just like a regular budget kind of planner it comes with two bookmarks one in like the rose gold kind of color and then the other one in this pink color let me take this off you also have this pocket in the back with a thank you card and then the elastic band and an elastic pin loop also in the same pink color as the ribbon. So like I said, this is a 12 month planner. So first you get these two sets of stickers, which are super cute. I love the gold foiling on this one. And then the rainbow colors are very pretty to me. It's very bright and cheery. And then you have the first page, which is like the, you know, if found, who to return it to page. So you just keep all your information on here. I love the reward line. I think that's super cute. I don't know who offers rewards for found planners, but you could. Then you get a financial goal. So you get 10 goals you can set up here. There's a mind map page and then some strategy and tactics pages. I don't even really know what any of this stuff means because yeah, y'all know I'm not really a budgeter, <laughs> but I'm trying. So, and then you have this page here, which is like, a, it looks like a monthly page. So you can put the month in the year, the goals, your to-do list, your opening income balance, savings balance, and then here's a monthly calendar. I don't really know how functional this calendar would be if you did want to put your bills on it because it's very small and I write very large. So this probably wouldn't be a very useful page for me unless I did some kind of like coding system so that I didn't actually have to write full words. So I don't know, but there is a note section so you could totally get away with doing that. Then you have a monthly budget, which I like the separate categories. I don't necessarily like that it's already filled in for you because what if you don't? have those things so i guess you could just white it out or again cover it up with a sticker it's kind of like you know up to you what you do and then there's an expense tracker so you get one of those two three expense trackers a monthly budget review and then the ideas and notes and i'm assuming it's the same yeah so then the months just start over so my recommendation for this just right off the bat would be to put some monthly tabs on the side which those are super easy to find i'm sure you can even find monthly tabs on amazon 
um, just so that it would be easier to get through month to month. I know there are the ribbons, bookmarks that you can use, but it still might be nice to just kind of have a quick bloop, 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 flip of the different tabs. Now, oh, also for the record, this is not the actual planner that I requested. I did request the rose gold planner, but I wanted the larger one with the, it had the coil system, which is like my preferred system. So I'm not really sure if I would actually use this. I think I have one person in mind that I'm gonna see if she wants it. And then if not, I may go ahead and do a giveaway for it. So kind of stay tuned. Um, you have to follow me on Instagram for that because that's where I would most likely do the giveaway. Um, but if you are interested in this planner for sure, like I said, I will put the link in the description box below so that you can get your hands on this one because it is very nice and compact, which is cool. I'm trying to get to the end, I think this is the end. Okay. And so for the last month, or last section you have expense trackers oh nope sorry that's the monthly budget review that's the last month okay so you have your savings tracker and you get one two three four of those then you have a debt tracker one two four of those oh six of those all right and then a holiday budget, holiday gifts, holiday spending. I really like this because it doesn't necessarily have to be a specific holiday. So you can use it for any holiday. And then you could also just kind of white out holiday and put like birthday or just gifts in general, you know, gift spending, whatever. Um, so this page I like because you can alter it the way you want it. And then you have a regular bill tracker. So you get two pages of those. And then here's a summary of the year, monthly expenses. Some, um, so you get a couple of those. Oh, this one too, I think is cool because that way you don't have to keep, I'm um, trying to remember which day the bills are due. If you have like set bills that come out at the same time, this can be sort of like a pre-planning system to me. It's kind of where my mind just went with that. And then you have a bunch of note pages and then that is the end so yeah again budget planner 12 month planner i think like i said it's really nice it feels good the paper i don't know about the paper quality because i don't really want to write in it since i plan on um either giving it away or doing a giveaway um so i don't really want to write on it but i mean it feels good it doesn't feel like super thick paper, like, you know, like an Archer and Olive type thick, but it does seem like it would be okay to, you know, write with like your regular pens. Um, maybe not anything too dark or too heavy because it'll probably have some ghosting if you do it that way. But, you know, just with a regular pen, I feel like it would probably be fine. So anyway, oops, that's the box. So anyway, that is my review of this planner. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to my channel if you have not already done so. And oh yeah, don't forget, once again, the link is down below for this particular planner if you are interested. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. And as always, have a good day, friends. Goodbye.